Shar Margolis, Shar Communications Incorporated, and Shar Vision LLC do not endorse or offer for any purpose but entertainment the views of any guest or other expert on Shar Vision or UBN. I knew things before they happened from the time I was a child. At the age of eight, I saw a spirit at the foot of my bed and didn't know what it was. And in my 20s, I finally realized I had a special ability that could help others. I have learned that love never dies. There is a spirit world that can communicate with us, and we all have the gift of intuition. Join me, and together we will explore the possibilities of the unknown from beyond and more. This is Shar Vision. Hi, everybody. I hope everybody is wonderful. It is Sunny and Shar, and how are you, Tony? I'm great. Good. Today is... <laughs> Uh, August 26, 2022, and we're going to get right into one of my most favorite people in the world. Truly, I have such a place in my heart for him. It's Chris Colfer, and Chris, come on on. I mean, you you know he's a best-selling author. He land of stories. He's got. Um, he was on Glee, you guys, and he won't go to karaoke with me, but he's here. So. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me, Char. Yeah, of course. I love having you on. Now, I have to tell everybody before we start, hmm. I did a thing called School for Psychics with you the last time you were on. Mm -hmm. so you were reading for someone and someone kept saying, no, 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 no. And then everything you said was actually really right on because they, they Facebook me and they said, he was right about this. He was right about this. And I'm so stupid. And you really did a great job. And I oh, well, thank you. That. Oh, I, good to know. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, you need to know that because um, the only school I've ever been good in. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> I bet you you were good in in musical theater, right? Oh yes, yeah. I was I was definitely good at the the, the performing stuff, but uh, the uh, academic stuff not so much. Yeah, like. I mean, your voice is like an angel's voice. You sing so beautifully. Do you still enjoy it? I you know, I love singing like in the shower or like in in the car. But um, uh, I mean, it just it just takes something special to get me to uh to come out of my uh my cave and uh, and do it again. But you do it on stage. You'll do it. I on do. Stage. Yeah, I just I just did a a, a PBS special for um uh for for Pride Month. Um, and that was that was really fun. I I how can I see that? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's on YouTube now. Um, okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll, if I Google it, I can Google it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I did uh, somewhere over the rainbow. Um, so, uh, which I know is one of your favorites. So, it's one of my favorite songs. I mean, it's. I mean, seriously, I my my next door neighbors in Michigan, they see me in a whole new light because they're huge fans of yours. Oh. <laughs> they sends me like videos of you singing from Glee. Oh gosh, <laughs> I mean, they're beautiful. I mean, you're singing. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> Because this is my favorite one and this is it's like so sweet so if you come visit me in Michigan you have to meet them yeah I, I can't wait to come see you in Michigan we got we got to plan that okay we will let's do it for sure next year yeah yeah I'd love to see your your place yeah we're definitely going to do it so um how are, are you can you talk about anything you're working on now or oh yeah yeah um uh well this year um I have uh, the 10th anniversary of my first book is coming out um, the Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell. That'll come out in October. It's um, the Wishing Spell. The Wishing Spell. Yeah, it's it was the first one in the series. So we're doing a we're releasing a very, releasing a very special um, tenth an tenth anniversary edition of the book, which has mm -hmm. a bunch of illustrations that have uh, never been seen before. Wow. Um, and a, a little letter from me, and um, it is it is gorgeous. Uh, it is they have they really outdone themselves with with it. Um, so. I know people will, will, re will uh, really like that one. I'm excited for you because your your illustrator is always amazing. Yes, he is. Brandon Dorman. He is. He's absolutely incredible. He is, he's amazing. Okay, so that's fantastic. And um, do you feel? Do you think you'll eventually get go back to acting? I don't know. I, I you know, I would really like to. I, I I'm in a place now where I'd really like to. I've you know I've, I've spent the last like six years cooped up at home, even before the pandemic, just writing and 
And um, I, I, I really miss the, I really miss people. <laughs> I really miss, like, I miss like the, 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 um, you know, the camaraderie uh, of, of having a set and, and a crew. Right. And, and, and uh, right. I, so that's what I miss the most. So I really, I, I hope something, something pops up, something, you know, something good. Cause I'm, 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 you know, you know, I'm very picky when it comes to that stuff. And you should be, I mean, and, and you're allowed and you can be, you're fortunate that you can be, but you yes, know, you're very lucky. You've made such a wonderful name for yourself at such a young age, and you were so smart to to keep writing while you were acting. I mean, yeah. a lot of actors, you know, they they're one note wonders, and they go nowhere, and or they, you know, it, it can take forever if they get in something else. And you were so yeah. smart to. I I just I was I was very fortunate. I just I followed uh, both my passions, and I never. I think I think I was too young at the time to think about you know. Uh, mm -hmm. long-term stuff but I'm just I, I'm so so glad I didn't listen to all the people who told me not to write um because it's it's become it's become my my uh my life in, in my, well, my wait, you're, you're a New York Times bestseller mm -hmm. I think the the only thing everybody oh Chris, there's, there's there's my first book yeah wait Chris Chris wrote the most amazing forward for me for my new book you are psychic okay so this is my new book I think the only time I'll have New York Times bestseller on any of my books is because <laughs> Chris, Chris is a New York Times bestseller. Well, maybe, maybe, you never know. <laughs> you, never, you never know, but I, th I think most people are buying this online and I don't know if people understand this. I don't even really understand it, but you have to buy from certain bookstores or whatever. I, mm -hmm. I have been number one on Amazon. So we'll, I mean. Oh, we'll awesome. That's great. Yeah, but we'll see what happens this time. If, yeah. So we have to ask everybody to please buy my book. You are psychic. Did you read it? I haven't read it yet. No, but I'm so excited to. Oh, okay. So I I just have to tell. Well, actually, it. no. I think I, actually, no. I think you sent me the manuscript before I wrote the forward. So I think I did read it. Um, but it was like I think it was like almost like a year ago. Yeah, but I probably there was probably a lot. We edited a lot. After oh yeah, I think it was. I think uh, that it's coming back to me. Yeah, I read it when it was like under when you guys were still editing it. But um, um, I mean, I I love all of your books. Oh, thank you. You have to say that you're on my podcast. <laughs> no, no, I mean it. I mean it. Okay, so I have to tell you something. So you guys, the the forward Chris wrote is truly a love letter to me. Oh. Honestly, if I never get another letter from somebody, this will stay in my heart forever. Oh. It's so true. I'm so grateful. And it's so beautiful what you wrote. And um, so I was on with Maria Menunos on her podcast, um, Better Together, I think it's called. And she, the first thing she said to me was, well, she said that forward from Chris Colfer. And I said, yeah, she said, I, I am ashamed of any forward I've ever written. <laughs> Or ever will write because I I I, I nothing can compare to that forward he wrote for you. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy you people are. I, well, I, first I'm I'm so happy that you love it so much. I'm really happy it's it's a uh, it's uh, resonating with people. Um, I love it more than the book. No, <laughs> no, I I doubt that. <laughs> it's 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 equal. It's equal. Yeah. Well, I've never written a forward before, and I couldn't think of a better person to write a forward for. Hi, I love you, sweetheart. I love you too. <laughs> so sweet. Oh my God, you're so. I'm so. I I so have adopted you. I mean, people don't really realize what kind of friendship we have because <laughs> yeah. we get into we get into uh, into trouble sometimes. <laughs> we do get into trouble, but the the one thing you wrote in the book about how we've eaten pounds of Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all, all gossiping, gossiping about the uh, the royal family. <laughs> yeah, the royal family, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we have, I mean, off camera, we have to talk about all the stuff going on with that royal family. Oh yeah, no, we, we yeah we we are overdue for some uh, Chinese. Well, Meghan Markle has a has a podcast now. Oh yeah, yeah, and, and um, uh, Archibald, I think it's called, or Ar Archie, Archie something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I I don't know, but um. And it, it totally, it like they never showed the little boy's face. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it, they showed his thick red hair. Oh, yeah. They have, they have two kiddos now, I think, right? They have a, yeah, they have and they have a little and, girl. And a little bit, yeah. Yeah, well, she's, have you seen her face? No, no. 
Actually, I haven't seen. I haven't. I, I actually haven't seen much about 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 them. I'm I'm always you know I'm always on on on. Well, on then you better on. start researching for when I. <laughs> so I'm, so I'm prepared. <laughs> I will be so bored at our Chinese restaurant. <laughs> you don't know it if you don't remember everything. So, <laughs> but no, but seriously, it was like so amazing. The I mean the forward. My sister was crying when she was reading it, and it's. I, anyway, thank you. Uh, oh, I, of course, my pleasure. I'm just so grateful. And so, um, I saw I saw your dogs before. So you were going to tell me a story about your dog. Oh yeah, well, happy happy. I think it's National Dog Day. So happy National Dog oh, Day. Happy National Dog Day. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Sunny. Happy National Dog Day, Sunny. Oh, I miss you, Sunny. For God's sake, he says, "Mommy, leave me." <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, well, I also think there's like four international dog days throughout the year. So I'm never sure which one to celebrate. Um, but, uh, a few weeks ago, we, uh, we did like the, the DNA test for, uh, Cooper and Fitzgerald just to oh, wow. see yeah, what, I, their, what their heritage I, I is. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, uh, anyway, we got, we randomly got them today on international dog day. Uh, oh, wow. we got them back and Cooper is a hundred percent golden retriever. Oh wow! And, and they even like the tests even found his family. His family is all in Texas, and okay. there are all these photos because people can like upload photos of their dog, and it looks just like him. It's like all his like siblings and his cousins, and and I like I got this, and I'm I like was so emotional for some reason. Oh my god, that's so like like they had, like I found my family, and he I mean he couldn't care less, but um that was so cool. Um, amazing yeah and then uh Fitzgerald's came back and and we've always known Fitzgerald was was mixed but um we always thought that Fitzgerald was a corgi Havanese mix and he literally is every dog but corgi and Havanese you're kidding no he is um I think he was like 50 percent um shih tzu and 17 percent uh percent a chihuahua he's a chihuahua yes 17 percent you're kidding yeah, so, and we always thought he had, like, some, like, her dog. Let's do a picture of him. People need to see the picture of him. He looks nothing I, like a chihuahua. I do have, um, I do have my, um, my, uh, uh, unofficial portraits of them on my oh, phone. They're so cute. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're so cute, but I'm, a. Uh, you, you gotta press the thing again, because. Oh, here, here we go. There you go. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. The little, they're... the little one. Yeah. The little one, one, Cooper. So yeah. when he, I was at their house when they first got Cooper, you guys, and Cooper and I played and bonded. And when I went to go home, he followed me. He thought I, he was supposed to be my dog and he yeah. tried to get in my car. He just followed you right down the driveway. <laughs> it was the cutest thing ever. Where are you going? <laughs> so, so cute. Yeah. So I know. Oh, that, Gerald. Yeah. What? Yeah, um, on, the, on the screen. Oh, what is on the screen? That's me and Fitzgerald. That was the, I think, the oh, day we brought him home. Oh. Yeah. He's so, so cute. Oh. You guys are such good daddies. Yeah. Well, Will is a much better, better dad than I am because he's he's the one who like he he takes them for walks and. and so he... I'm so I'm gonna agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fine. I admit it. I, I I tell everybody he's 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 the much better dad dog because I I. The outdoors and I just don't get along. So, um, uh, well, the outdoors and 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 you got along when we went. You know, the one thing I did not write when in that people don't know, like when you wrote in the book about we went to Joshua Tree at midnight. Oh to, yeah, yeah. To find UFOs. Uh huh. Wait. Okay. So you guys, we literally drove <laughs> to Joshua Tree in the middle of nowhere. Overnight. To yeah. UFOs. Hmm. Now. My car was having problems with the battery, but I thought the battery was working. And so anyway, I mean, it worked. So we, we went to the top of the keys or something. I forgot the name of it. And we're and Will and Chris and I are like calling for UFOs to come see us because, you know, like, we, please. We were, <laughs> right, right. Like, da, 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 da. You know, what, what was that movie? Um, uh, of the third kind, something of the third. Oh kind. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, close Encounters that, of the Third Kind. Close Encounters, yeah. That old, old Moody. You weren't yeah. even born yet. Yeah, I've seen it. So, yeah. So, um, so we, but the 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 rest of the story is the next morning. 
I, you guys, I think, left the next day. Mm -hmm. And then we came back, went to sleep. The next morning, my car wouldn't start. We would have been stuck. In yeah, and we, I, I, if, if, if memory serves me correctly, there wasn't much uh, cell reception up there either. No, there was no. nothing. There was nothing, and we would have been stuck there. Yeah, we would, we would have uh, needed to, to uh, have a, a lift from one of the UFOs we didn't see. <laughs> right. I, I actually have the car back here in Michigan now, and they finally figured out what was wrong with it. Oh, good, good. Yeah, the the um, Bluetooth was draining it, and so was um, the the um, the whatever the thing that takes the directions. What's that called? The oh yeah, the uh, like the uh, navigational navigation. Something. Yeah, so we had to cut those out, and now it it works. Yeah, it's by like, the grace of God, we did not get stranded at the top of Joshua Tree. Could you imagine? I. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Will probably would, would, would have been fine, but you and I probably would. It's like we're, we're both Jaja Gabor from Green Acres. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so horrible. Yeah. My God, and there's no bathrooms up there. And no. I mean, and, and I mean, there's got to be like, like wild coyotes and oh yeah oh yeah and probably like mountain lions or yeah, yeah i'm sure for sure mountain lions yeah oh my god but and it was then, pretty it was pretty up there we could see the whole we could see the whole uh, city below us and we could see all the constellations and the stars yeah yeah it was gorgeous but you know shame on those ufo people for not coming to get us i mean it's just I mean, didn't they know that you were like a a, a an award-winning what did you win? You won the People's Choice Award, and yeah, I mean, yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, don't they? Didn't they know who they were messing with? You should. I mean, I'm dead. Or, you just a quick goog. Yeah, number one New York Times bestseller. I mean, do don't they know what they missed out on? Or actually, maybe maybe they're very well aware of of me, and that's why they avoided us. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, you know what? Every time I talk to you, or a lot of times when I talk to you. I always think about your grandma sitting at the piano smoking a cigarette when she oh had, yeah when she had cancer which when she had lung cancer she still smoked we yeah we say grandma what are you doing you have cancer and she goes just in one of them i loved your grandma oh my yeah. god i loved her you were so sweet. I don't know if you're, you're, I don't know if we talked about this, but uh, Char came up to Fresno. We, we did a little, a little day trip and she came all the way up to Fresno to give my grandmother a reading. And then we drove all the way back in the same day. It was the sweetest gift ever. Oh my God. It was, it was my honor and my pleasure to meet your grandma. Oh my God. I loved her, but yeah. she, she was like a minister, right? She was, she was a, yeah. She was a reverend. Yeah. Yeah. A reverend and your grandpa was a reverend. Yeah. They're both reverends. Yeah. They were, you know, you, you come from a gifted family. Yeah. We could come, come from a, a lot of out, outspoken people for sure. <laughs> for sure. And how's Hannah? Oh, she's doing great. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Yeah. Chris has a, a really sweet sister. And every time I go, she holds hands with me and we, yeah. we bond. Yeah. Yeah. She, uh, she has special needs and uh, she um, uh, has no filter whatsoever. So she just she no says filter. <laughs> no whatsoever. And, no. and so she will tell you exactly what she thinks about you right to your face and have no no problem doing it. I went I went I went to a wedding and there was this a, a young man on the plane that was um he I, I guess he's Asperger's or whatever and he has no filter either and he goes, Well, you're old, you're really old. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so, oh boy. So should we take some phone callers? I know that we, we've got, pe I, there may be some people that want readings and then we can do that. And maybe you can help me with the readings because you did take school for psychics. So you're good <laughs> at that. But also I know that you have like fans who adore and love you, who never really get a chance to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm happy to happy to chat with them and take questions or whatever. This would be a great opportunity. So now the pressure's on Tony because he's got to choose because the lines are full. Yeah, but even if they want readings, like you know, I I love watching you give readings. I, I, I you know, I'm so happy to sit here and, and watch you. Okay, you're so sweet. Okay, well let's see what we get. All right. So you put the put the pressure on me. Thank you. 
Uh, <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's do a uh, 703. Okay, 703, who is this? Hello, it's Cindy. Hey, Cindy, how are you? I'm very good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Say hi to my friend, Chris. Hi, Cindy. Hello, Chris. So, Cindy I heard you wrote a wonderful forward to her book. Oh, thank you, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I'm sure I will. So, Cindy, where, where do you live? Um, well, I live in um, Arizona, but 703 is Virginia. I just didn't get rid of my cell phone number. Oh, that's good. So you're kind of incognito and people don't really know where you are. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. So did you, um, did you have a story for us or did you want a reading or what would you like? Um, a kind of a reading, but maybe a, a something on a, the career path. I work in a retirement community and I just don't know if that's Honestly, it gets challenging when people die. And I did have a job interview this week, and I just wanted to know if you had any insight okay, so on just, my career path. Okay, so just be open about everybody living and deceased because I've got to tune into you to know where I'm going with this. And I always say my prayer protection. So if everybody doesn't mind, I'm going to make sure only positive energy is around us. <laughs> and then we'll I'll tune in. We ask the universal consciousness and God that holds the highest spiritual power of knowledge, wisdom, and truth to guide and protect us as we communicate with our guides and angels in the spirit world and tap into the wisdom of the universe. We respect this opportunity and take full responsibility to use this not for ego or controlling others, but with the pure intention of spreading love and healing life on this earth and beyond anything that is in near around or about us that is not of light go back to where you came from and turn to light if you choose but stay away from us so is there a j or m initial connected with you like either deceased or about the job uh j or m yeah do you have do you have any family that's a J or an M? Well, I do, but one's living. Okay, is the living a J or an M? J. Is that a male? Female. Female. Is it J with an N in the name or an L in it? Both. Is it like Julianne or Jacqueline or? Yes. What, Jacqueline? Yes. Okay, and who is this? My sister. Okay, are you close with her? No. Well, I, no, I was probably closer to her until she they all decided to stop talking to me. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I feel like somebody's here telling me that you're probably better off not connecting with them that you're, you're woven from a different cloth than your family. You're a much kinder, nicer, warmer person. And uh, was there an issue with when someone passed over, like one of your parents? Yes. And was there an issue with a will or money? Yes. And did you get some of that and they didn't? Um. My husband got some and they didn't think that was right. Yeah. Okay. So you know what? Too bad for them. So you're, he must've been kind to your mom. Oh, he was very kind to both of my parents. Yeah. And so he deserved it and too bad for them. And you don't need to be around people who care so much about money instead of love and family. You know what I mean? You're, yes, thank you. I know I yes, and I feel that way, but sometimes it it feels very good to have that um and validated, who, I guess. There, is there like a, a B a B or R person like a Robert or Bob or B R B or R? Yes. 
Who is that? Um, living or dead? Uh, my husband's name Don't is say a that B or an R, and my and your, my father's name is the wait, same. Wait, wait. Does your start? Does your husband start with a B or an R? Yes. What what B R? Well, it's a, an R. Is it Robert R. Bob? Is it Robert Bob? Yes. Okay. And is your dad Robert Bob? But that's yes. <clears throat> okay. And your dad is deceased, correct? Yes. Okay. So your father's saying to ignore your family. Your father is saying <clears throat> that he's grateful to your husband. That's why he left him money or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, um, he's saying that you're very healing with the people in the nursing home who died. You're very healing. You help them. I try to. <clears throat> it's like you, because you believe in life after death and that you kind of help them along. So I, I mean, you know, the grass always looks greener on the other side till it starts burning under your feet. But I don't know if you're going to like this new place that you're looking into. Did you, is it a totally different kind of job? Yes. And so, yes, no, I'd love the, I, honestly, I do love the, the residents that work, live where I work. It just gets hard when they pass away. Yeah, but here's the deal. We don't die. Nobody dies. Love is, your dad's here right now. So, you know, love, it. everybody's going to die. Everybody's going to cross over. And the truth is most people who have a near-death experience and come back to talk about it have incredible experiences and euphoric and see you know their loved ones and see angels and hear amazing music and they don't even hear music they become music they don't see color they become color so it's like color we never really even have ever understood or or know about <clears throat> so okay. i don't know i i i think you're gonna miss it Well, I appreciate that because honestly, that's the greatest fear. It's like there's days it's like, oh, I just got to go. But then I'm afraid that if I go, I'd miss it. Just like you said. Okay. Where, what's this other job you were going to get? Well, I applied for a manager, a store manager position. Okay. So, so it's you... totally different. And it... I don't think you'll like it. I think it's too... I don't know. I, I just have a feeling it won't be as warm and cuddly as knowing all these other people. I think you're going to deal. I agree. With, I think you're going to deal with personalities and complaints and a lot of crap that you don't want to deal with. You already have. Yeah, I, okay. I'm sorry. Well, no, that I, I appreciate that because it's like, that's the thought that I've always had. That's the thought that I worry about. And so, you know, it go, I go back and forth with it all the time. And so I just, you know, I, I love the residents where I work and some of them mean so much to me. And if I left, then I don't know how that would go. Well, I'm telling you, you are loved where you are and I wouldn't move. I wouldn't change a thing. And plus the fact they're much well, nicer. They're much nicer people than your family, and you deserve to be loved. Oh, thank you. So that's that your means message. so much to me. That that's your message from your dad and your. I think your siblings have always been jealous of you. So there. Admit it. I can be I can believe that. Yes. Admit it. I think, you know, it's, it's so easy when, if I rationally look at things from the, try to look at it from the outside and kind of think about it, but sometimes it's really hard to do that when you, there's emotion involved. Well, that's, 
but when your intuition tells you something, the trickster thing that gets in the way are the emotions. Because if your intuition is trying to protect you, it's our emotions that kind of take us in a direction that maybe won't be the healthiest for us. That's no. Been there, okay. done that. Been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, so um, does my dad, so I have three sisters. Does he say the same about all of them? I guess he, he probably does. Cause, yeah, he does because they um, amongst each other. It's okay. They're the ones losing out. They are the ones. Anyway, thank you for calling. We need to move on. I appreciate you trusting me. Thank you so much. Enjoy no, your job. I appreciate what you. Thank you. That was a good one. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. This is this is the this is the psychic meter. You're my psychic meter. I'm I'm your I'm your your, your psychic sidekick. You are my psychic sidekick, Sunny. You can replace. <laughs> okay, Tony, let's get somebody else. Tony's taking somebody else. 814, you're on the air. I have somebody who wants to talk to Chris. Yay! 814, you're on the air. I have somebody who wants to talk to Chris. Hi there. Wait, we're getting feedback. Tony, we're getting feedback. They need to turn their volume down in the background. Is that better? There we go. And what is your name? Shalina. Shalina, this is Chris Colfer. Go oh, ahead. How are you? Huh? Chris is talking to you. I just said, hi, how are you? Hi. Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> and and um, are, are you a fan of Chris's? Yes, I am. Yeah. And what, I've actually what, spoke to him a couple of times before. What's oh, your awesome. favorite? What's your favorite thing about that you he does that you do that you like? Oh my goodness. Um, I, I don't know. I've liked everything he's done so far. I mean, I love his books. I love uh, Struck by Lightning. Um, oh, thank you. And Glee. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Struck by Lightning. How old were you when you wrote that? I was uh, 19 when I wrote it, uh, 20 when, when we sold it, and then uh, 21 when we shot it. So do you know how old Chris – okay, how old were you – how old did you play when you were in high school in Glee? How old were you? In the pilot, I was supposed to be 14 and I was 18 in real life. Um, and they kind of they kind of changed our ages a little bit as the show went on. Um, so, oh yeah, there, there's Trick by Lightning, yeah. Uh, it's actually going to be the, the 10th anniversary of Trick by Lightning next year. I got to do something uh, special for it. Didn't you do a Ooh. movie? That's a movie, right? Yeah, yeah. I need to see that movie. Where oh, yeah, yeah. I'll send you a copy. You will? Yeah, of course. Okay. I got, I got a closet full of them. <laughs> okay, so where's our caller? Caller? I'm still here. I'm okay. still here. How do you spell your name? Because I think I'm saying it wrong. S-H-E-L-L-A-Y-N-A. -L -L Shalena? Shalana. Shalena. Shalena. Such yeah. a pretty name. Shalena, yeah. where did we... Uh, where did we oh, uh, thank you. Before. um i met you the first time in 2019 at one of your signings um oh, awesome, awesome and then i talked to you last year at, on one of the virtual signings oh awesome it was, it was great to uh, to hear from you again oh thanks <laughs> do you have a question for chris like what what would um, you ask him what would you ask him if you could ask him anything what is the one thing you would oh ask <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> put me on the spot. <laughs> no pressure, but pressure does create diamonds. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know. I didn't actually expect to get through, so I didn't actually have a question planned in my head before I got here. <laughs> okay, so if so, what what is that question that a lot of people ask if you 
if there's three people you could have dinner with in the world that you would that are you know anybody living or dead who would yeah. you want to have dinner with oh my gosh then now i'm now i'm on the spot um <laughs> definitely first queen elizabeth oh yeah you love that lady of course I, lo I love i love me some liz um oh gosh who else um Oh man, I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, like, I don't know, maybe like, um, uh, I don't know, like, maybe like, like, I, I'd throw like either like Whoopi Goldberg or like Joan Rivers or. Have you, have you ever met Whoopi Goldberg? Oh, many times. I adore. Oh. Her. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah, I, know, sure I, I know her pretty well you. actually. Yeah. Yeah, because um, you won the View. You must have been. Yes. On the view. Yeah, yeah, and she was on Glee too. Um, and uh, she actually, I just, I was, I just got a, an award this year from um the National Coalition Against Censorship and Whoop Whoopi was kind enough to to present the, the, the award. That's to so nice. Yeah, that's but I so adore her. She was my hero growing up. Oh, um, that's so sweet. Yeah, I have I have photos of me uh, dressed like a, like being like, I was like three and we used to put towels over my head so I looked like a nun. And oh, I was no longer oh, in the mean, okay. <laughs> what, what was that movie she was in? The, 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 with the nuns that sang? Oh, Sister the, Act, yeah. What's it called? Sister Act. Oh yeah, Sister Act. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, okay, so okay, so those are two great people to, and they're both living. And they're both living. Yeah, yeah. You're a dead person. You're a dead oh, you know Carrie Fisher because I loved Carrie Fisher. <clears throat> oh, you know what I didn't tell you? Hmm. I'm friends with her sister-in-law. Oh, get out of here! Oh my God, yes, and that was Debbie Reynolds. Yeah. Daughter. Daughter. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. We'll have to talk about that too. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I, I. I my gosh, Carrie, Carrie Fisher wrote this book called um, "Wishful Drinking," um, and uh, I, by a miracle, got got a got a copy of that when I was nineteen, and Glee had just premiered. And in the book, she talks about what it was like for her being nineteen and Star Wars premiering, and wow. just, she taught me how to laugh at all the scary stuff. And I, I, I probably would have been in a lot worse shape than I than I was if I hadn't gotten that book so Aww. I've always loved her that's so sweet yeah well Shalena thank you so much for calling in good to see you again oh good to see you too okay. <laughs> nice to talk to you again call, <laughs> even if I didn't us, have a question <laughs> call back when Chris will be on again call us back okay, okay. I'll have a question prepared <laughs> okay no problem Okay, that was a good one. Do we have another Chris call? Uh, I'm looking through. There's a lot of readings. There are some people that are definitely fans. And actually, I did want to mention one in the chat room in YouTube because she's from Brazil. And she says, I can't get through. But her name is Giovanna Cardosa. Cardosa. Oh, Giovanna. Uh -oh. So she's very sad she couldn't get to talk to you. Uh -oh. So I'm I sorry you couldn't get through. <laughs> what? Where what time is it in Brazil now? I wonder. Uh, for, well, it depends because it's a big, big country, but uh, it's either three or four hours probably. In a, Isn't your husband from Brazil? He is. Manaus, the Amazon. Hmm. I know, but I do have another caller, eight oh four, that wants to talk to Chris. Oh, good. So, eight oh four, you're on the air with Chris. Eight oh four, Sunny and Shar. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? Good. What's your name? Lorelai. Hi, Lorelai. Have we met before? Uh, we have. I saw you in Richmond when you came to the bird. Oh, awesome. Well, good to see you. Good to hear from you again. What? Good to hear from you. <laughs> what? Um. What? What? What's the bird? Uh, it's a theater in. Richmond on it's in a little place called Carytown. Oh, nice, nice. It's where I did one of my uh, my book events. Do you have Chris's autograph? I do. It's on the sixth book, and then I also have signed copies of just about every other book he's ever published. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. I'm glad you have a, a whole collection. <laughs> wow, you should hang on to those. They'll be worth something one day, and then you can make a lot of money on them. <laughs> I'll be worth a lot of money either when uh, when I die or eventually get arrested. <laughs> Chris, Chris sent me a birthday. Oh, there, this 
Chris sent me a birthday greeting and he's saying happy birthday on my on on the voice thing on my phone and I and I wanted to like sell it. <laughs> I wanted to auction it off. <laughs> and I did that in the backseat of an Uber too. So that was very <laughs> I think I made the guy very uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> what is your favorite thing that Chris does? Um just the way that he creates worlds and characters that you know even if it's only just small bits everyone can relate to Aww, and Aww, thank you honey which is your favorite character <laughs> uh, <laughs> which one? Oh, thank you for putting me on the spot <laughs> oh, oh, wrong answer <laughs> think i could choose. okay so i don't you think i could choose just one well then choose let's do choose five um, well, Alex was mm -hmm. a role model for me when I was younger. I, and then, honestly, the entire fairy council. Oh, I love that. Got me through a that. lot of tough times. Oh, That's so cool. Nice. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're a group of colorful characters, so I'm, I'm happy to hear that. And where do those characters come from in your head? I, I wish I knew. Uh, I mean, a lot of them are, are slightly based on um, people I know, um, but for the most part, they're just, they're just, they've, a lot of them have always been with me since I was a kid. They were just like my imaginary best friends when I was a kid that I just put into these books. Um, but um, yeah, I, th I think, I think, I, I think maybe I'm, I'm, I'm channeling something. Yeah, I think you're channeling too. Yeah. I love it when, um, I think it's always hilarious. Sometimes I'll be at book signings and uh, little girls especially will come up to me and I'll say, who's your favorite character? And they'll say something like General Marquis, which is like the bloodthirsty like soldier. Like, and I'm just like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Not the answer I was expecting. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Wow. You have, it's, it, you have quite the imagination and and you are channeling. That's good that you know. You're very intuitive. Are you intuitive? What I forget your name, the caller. I mean, I would like to think so. I can't <laughs> say for sure. I bet you are. I think everybody is. Do you do you feel like you have guardian <laughs> angels and spirit guides that walk with you? Definitely, I think. A lot of my family does that for me. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's so, so nice. So, so you would probably go anywhere where Chris is doing a book signing or something, right? <laughs> I mean, if I could make it, I would. <laughs> and you have every single one of his books. Yes, everyone. And did you see the movie Struck by Lightning? I did when it, I believe when it was released or oh. when I, the first time I could. And, and did you watch every episode of Glee? I have, and I'm currently rewatching it. Oh, oh that's very cool. So what are you watching now? Which part? Um, I'm in the middle of season three. Uh, and they're, they've just won regionals. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did, did you help them win regionals, Chris? I mean, I, I I guess I did. I was on the team, so I I I, I, I I'm I'm sure I contributed a little bit. <laughs> what was your favorite um song, or or maybe one of your favorite songs that he that Chris did, or or ensemble with the, everybody else? Well, even though it's early, Rose's turn was always one of my favorites. Oh, that's one of my entire show. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you like Thank You. Oh, is so. How does that go, Chris? What's that one? That that one's from Gypsy. Oh, how does it go? Oh, oh, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for calling. Yeah, it was so good to talk to you again. Thank you. <laughs> Hope I Thank see you, you at another, um, uh, another signing or another event. I hope I do as well. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, Chris, so you, she loves you. 
Oh, so, so sweet. She, yeah. Kids adore you, but she like studies you. I mean, she knows everything. Yeah. Yeah. And she, they read over and over again. And now she's watching Glee again. I yeah. Mean, you know, because you, you have an amazing energy and the, you're, the people who follow you appreciate you as a human being, not just because you were famous, hmm. because you have such a good heart. You have yeah. such a good heart. I, you know, I've, I've been told by so many people um, that, that run the venues and the bookstores and the places that I go for uh, book events or, you know, other kind of events, that my fans are the most polite, sweetest people they've ever met and um i'm i'm very very happy that's the kind of people that that i attract you that's so important right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah yes because that's i mean that's the kind of person i've always tried to be so I'm, I'm so glad that we're all we're all finding each other that's so that's so sweet you have like a community you should do mm -hmm. more um uh more like Instagram lives and things like that. So you're, you're, you know, the people who follow you can connect more. Yeah, I should, you know, I, I, I've been thinking about trying to do something like that. I just, I just never know what, what to do. So if anyone has suggestions. Well, I, I, I have a suggestion hmm. on the 30th of August. <laughs> yeah, it's that's August. A perfect excuse. That's the day that the book is launched. Um, Chris is going to interview me on this podcast and uh, not podcast, but on Instagram live. How do people get on that? Uh, I think they just have to be on Instagram and just wait for the notification to, to come through. So it'll be 12 noon Pacific time, 3 PM Eastern time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So anybody who wants to watch that, he's going to, he's, so you're so kind to want to help me with this. Thank you. Yeah, of course. No, I'm happy. I'm happy to uh, to tell people some more of our, uh, our our fun stories. Yeah. Oh my God. We we have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, I think we we I think we're like almost ready to wrap it up, right? Tony, is there anyone that else that wants to talk to? We Chris? could do one more call for for somebody who wants to talk to Chris. Okay, let's do it. All right, three three zero. You're on the air. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Um, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. How old are you, Cynthia? How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. I'm How are you? <laughs> How old are you? Ten. Ten? Twenty. Twenty. I'm twenty nice. years old. How old? Twenty, she said. H have we ever met before? Um, no. No, no. Well, it's, it's nice to meet you uh, via uh, Sharvision. Yep, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Did you have a, a question for me or anything you wanted to uh, talk about? Um, no. I'm just saying that I'm a fan of you. Oh, oh thank you. That's so sweet. Where do you live? Um. We from Ohio, but we typically from moved to Michigan last summer. Oh, nice! That's nice. We're in Michigan. Um, Clyde. Oh, nice. So, what? Which is your favorite thing that Chris does? Is it the music? Is it the writing? The books? What? What do you like so much? <laughs> Um, he makes me smile. Oh, oh, I'm so happy to hear that. So sweet. I'm so I'm always so I'm always happy to make people smile. That makes that makes me feel so good. Thanks for saying that. You're welcome. <laughs> this has been quite an ego boost, Char. Thank you for always having me. <laughs> of course. Wait, you have a question? I, no, but I've been a fan of you, Chris, since 2020. Oh, nice. Oh, well, you are a sweet young lady and, tell. and, and, and I'm so happy that you were able to get through and share your beautiful energy with us. Yeah. I hope I get to uh, meet yeah. you someday at a book event or, 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 you know, or something. That, that is my wish. Oh, good. Well, hopefully we can make 
it make it happen i'm i'm i, I think i'm going to be hitting the road again soon so uh, uh I'll, I'll keep you guys posted well, will the tour team come to michigan i will i would love to come to michigan i will i, I will try to make that happen <laughs> okay thank you yeah thank you Wow, what a fun night. It, what a sweet girl. She yeah. loves you. Yeah, what a, what a sweetheart. You, you could tell she's a, she's a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. she, yeah. And really, you know, you make, you give these kids something to keep their minds busy and to escape into your world. And it's really, really lovely. Oh, I'm, I, I, I certainly hope so. I, I know that uh, when I was younger, um, anything that gave me an escape was, was an absolute godsend. So... I'm glad to uh, uh, be giving that to other people because I, I know how much I needed it when I was a kid. Well, especially with all the craziness that's going on in our world. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful to be able to escape into that fantasy world. It's wonderful. Mm, absolutely. I'm so grateful for you to be on tonight and for writing my foreword and to being such a dear friend to me. Oh, you're, oh my God. I, like, like, likewise. And I can't wait to uh, chat more on uh, Tuesday. Oh, my God. Tuesday, the 30th. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So people can come to Chris's Instagram. And um, so thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And uh, any you guys, thank you for watching Char Vision tonight. I know I didn't do a lot of readings, but I'll be back next Friday to do some more readings. And um, you can follow my Patreon. If anybody's interested, I'm going to be doing a once a, a month uh kind of a, I, I think I'm calling it a, um, a healing, a positive energy group, like a healing group where people of like minds will come together and we can try to save the planet together in some way, or at least our sanity. Nice. So you can go to char.net, C-H-A-R.N-E-T. And to find Chris's books, you can go to anywhere books are sold. Anywhere books are sold and yeah. Chris Colfer, C-O-L-F-E-R. Yeah, uh, the land of or a tale of magic.com that they'll, they'll point you in the right, the right place. Okay. That's great. And maybe one time we get them on, we'll let, we'll get them to sing. <laughs> never going to happen. We'll see. <laughs> uh, uh, oh maybe, we, we, maybe we get drinks beforehand. <laughs> uh, what, what, maybe, maybe you would do a, a duet with me. <laughs> well, maybe we'll see. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, everybody. Have a safe, wonderful week. Say your prayers. Keep a white light around you. And remember, intuition, intuition will take you places logic never could. And Sunny says, bye-bye. Bye. Everybody, thanks for having me.